Talking with Jerry, the general manager of the Giants, as they kick off their season, defense of their third Super Bowl this evening here against this Redskins team, a very, very tough division. You know, uh, a, a, a terrific division. I mean, as good a division as there is in the league, when the Redskins, who are a talented team, might be the fourth best team in the league in the division, that's saying a lot. I mean, the, when you look at the division, Cowboys, Eagles, yourself, Redskins, four good teams. Well, you know what? I, I think all the National Football League have good ones. It's men against men, so you don't have any easy well, football I mean, games. if I ask you about the Falcons right now, you might not think they're very good. I well, mean, but, you know, in this division, there's not a bad team. There's not a real weak sister in the group. Well, you know, I, I think the NFC East is a good division, obviously. But, you know, again, the National Football League is no easy games. You better come prepared to play every week. If you don't, you'll be looking for your teeth out there. When you look at this from this standpoint, Tight end was a position you got. You made a move on Shockey, which I think had to happen. I don't think there's any issue. I was always a severe critic of him anyway, so I'm not the right guy. But I do think once he wasn't part of it, it was going to be hard for him to adjust mentally to that, that it was done without him. Uh, so I think the right call. Do you have that position settled or complementary to the point where you don't feel you're going to take a big drop off without Shockey? Well, I, I think Kevin Boss has is, is done a nice job, and he's, he's still developing. He, you know, he's gotten much stronger in the offseason. You know, is again, he blocking enough to be decent? Sure. Here, he, he, blocked, he blocked decent, you know, as a rookie last year. Okay. So, so he, he's obviously gotten a little better at blocking, and he, he works at it. So we're not worried about him as far as if his, his work ethic. He's got good hands. He's, he's a gifted receiver. He's got very soft so, hands. So yeah. he'll, he'll continue to help us. Uh, Michael uh, Matthews, who played a lot for us last year as a, as a rookie as well, a free agent rookie. Uh, does a lot of the blocking stuff. He's he's really improved catching the ball. And Darcy Johnson had a big game in the last preseason game. So, you know, you know it's it's a it's a tandem of receivers at, at the tight end position, and we kind of a committee of tight ends. Uh, but we think we have enough to get the job done. Did you get close? We're talking with Jerry Reese, the general manager. Did you get close? To bring his straight hand back, was there a chance you were going to bring him back? Well, we, we, you know, had good conversation with him, and. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, Michael was great, number one. He was great about it. It wasn't about the money. You know, the money was enough that we offered. and uh, But Michael just, you know, he honestly said, Jerry, you know, physically I think I can do it, but mentally it's too quick. I don't think I can come this quick, make the adjustment this quickly, and, and give you guys what you need. And uh, so I'm going to bow out and continue to stay retired, and we really respect him for making that decision. He didn't make it a long, drawn-out, you know, uh, fiasco, you know, really in 48 hours he let us know and made it made a decision and we respect him for that are you concerned long term about your kicking situation well you, we're, we're always concerned you know john carney is, is a veteran kicker we, we feel good about having him out there you know standing if we if we need a game yeah, winning field goal about, tonight it's only about 140 yeah. <laughs> well, he, well he's got the experience factor that he is about 45 like. isn't he 44, he, he's 44 44 years old can he kick so he's probably lost a couple of yards right now carney was always very accurate so yeah so so we feel good about him in, in, in that capacity you know uh lawrence is is, is Doing much better, and, uh, and he was shaky last year anyway. I mean, he was well, one day at the beach anyway. Well, well, Lawrence made some big kicks for us. Now. He did, he, he did, he, he, but he, he also made... had some some slumps. Yeah, well, all, all kickers have some slumps, you know. I, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take up for Lawrence. Lawrence made some big kicks. Everybody talk about the Green Bay game, you know, he missed two, but he made three. Nobody talk, talk about the other two he made before. And that, that was a rough day. Yeah, so yeah. I'm yeah give anybody just, a break you know, in that day. So, yeah. so you can't kill Lawrence. Lawrence did an excellent job for us, and and he, his confidence is high. So we expect him to come back. And, so you're not uh, worried about the long term. You're not worried about the long term you know i'm you know you're always concerned but i don't think we're worried about it is there one position right now where you are holding your breath from a depth standpoint or from a, a standpoint of geez you know if i have something happen here i'm not in very good shape is there one well all the positions you, you just never know you know you're running backs you, you, you they get a hit a lot the offensive line they get hit a lot your defensive line it's a lot of contact so you just never know what position you know that could get dinged up in, in a hurry and, and all of a sudden you're, you're really light at a position and you're panicking trying to find guys uh, to replace him. So you never know in this league, but it's, it's about making adjustments, and we're prepared to make adjustments no matter what happens. Has winning the championship so quickly in your tenure, has that been a hard adjustment mentally for, for you or for anybody around? I mean, you walk in, get the job, and boom, win a championship. I mean, that you know, guys usually have to wait a while to win a championship. You know, they usually get walk in the door and win a championship. Well, well you know, we're grateful and blessed to be able to get that done last year. And, uh, you know, it's in the books, and we're happy about it. You know, we have the rings, we have the trophy, but we're just focused on the Redskins tonight. We're, we're looking forward to trying to repeat. And uh, But we know we have to do it one game at a time, and, you know, the Redskins are you know have, uh, will be a great challenge for us tonight. Do you worry about complacency? with a championship team that is defending its crown always a factor always a scary point 
some teams have trouble. I mean, there's no question. You never know. I've seen, hey, giant teams have not had great years yeah. after their championships. I mean, for different reasons, mm -hmm. you know. One time the coach left. So, I mean, it happens. But uh, the other year was the strike year. So, I mean, I know that those were the two issues. But uh, do you worry about complacency with it, with a team in the big town with all the yeah. accolades and everything that's yeah. going on? You know, th th that's always a factor. You know, it, you know, there's several factors, you know, in the Super Bowl hangover. There's, there's uh, free agency. There's injuries. There's things like that. But the number one thing that you have to guard against is complacency. And, you know, I think our core group of football players in that locker room, I think those guys are focused. Our, our head coach is not going to let them be complacent. I think our core players who, who know what it took last year to get to that point are not going to go out there and take anybody light and not going to go on last, last year's, uh, you know, uh, team. We're gonna be, we have a new team. It's a new set of circumstances. I think we understand what it takes, and I think we'll be focused to do that. If you were going to give me one of the offensive young players who you thought would have a big season for you, I mean, a, a good, a real, maybe a breakthrough season for you, who would it be this year? Uh, offensive young player? Uh, one of your younger, you know, guys, first year, second year guy, who you think maybe will step up and maybe separate himself at wide receiver or separate himself at in, in the running back mm -hmm. game or in the tight end game mm -hmm. well, is there one yeah. guy you could see emerging kevin boss you think he will okay. i think he'll make a big jump okay well listen congratulations Thank enjoy you. it take it all in today you know the fans <laughs> haven't had a chance as you know eighty thousand strong haven't had a chance to uh tell every you know how much they appreciated what you gave them last year well, you've seen them in bits and and here and there and some on the road but you haven't had i know you had parades and everything else but now you got them in your home full house tonight so I, it, i'm sure that will be it fun should to be watch. exciting mike but it's gonna be hard to match that parade <laughs> so, <laughs> it should be exciting here tonight i think our fans are looking forward to it i know our players are looking forward to it uh but we have to focus and do the things that it takes to win football games and, and i think we're ready to do that tonight well listen enjoy every minute of it and uh, you earned it thanks very much thanks mike take care jerry reese back after this